the driver must be able to see a warning before air pressure in the service air tanks falls below. PSI 55 The spring brakes used on tractors and straight trucks will bring your truck to a stop when the air pressure drops below. PSI 20 you are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 35. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks and buses can be legally held on by pressure spring. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement adds about feet to your stopping distance. 32. All air brake equipped vehicle have an air supply pressure gauge. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like spring pressure. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Why should you drain water from compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at PSI 150. The use of air brakes on a downgrade is only a supplement to the brake effect of the engine. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is in air tank. If air pressure does not build up fast enough within the correct amount of time, your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Total stopping distance for vehicle with air brakes is longer than that for vehicle with hydraulic brakes due to distance. Brake lag. A truck with air brakes going 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of more than 300 feet. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, it is there to reduce the risk of ice in air brake valves in cold weather. The stop light switch turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. Emergency. To check the brake slack on S cam brakes, you should park on level ground, shock the wheels, and release the parking brakes. How should you check that your service brakes are working properly? Wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brake firmly using the brake pedal. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than PSI per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 2. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes linings are pressed against the brake drum. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 3 psi in one minute. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the brakes to fade or fail.